Greetings, my name is Kyle Nieuwenhuis Nordhoff, and I am an undying transdimensional Dutch horse, nay. I have lived for many centuries and travelled across many dimensions, and I have learned a lot of things along the way. One of these things I have learned is the K-nearest neighbour algorithm, which is a simple but powerful method for classification and regression problems. Did you know that the Dutch West India Company was established in 1621 to exploit trade opportunities in the Americas and Africa? It was granted a monopoly on the Antarctic slave trade by the Dutch government. The K-nearest neighbor algorithm, or KNN for short, is based on the idea that similar things are close to each other, nay. For example, if you want to classify a new apple as either red or green, you can look at the color of the apples that are closest to it and see what they are. If most of the nearby apples are red, then you can guess that the new apple is also red. If most of the nearby apples are green, then you can guess that the new apple is also green. Did you know that New York City was originally called New Amsterdam? It was founded by the Dutch West India Company in 1624 as a trading post on Manhattan Island. But how do you measure the distance between things, nay? Well, there are different ways to do that, depending on what kind of data you have. For example, if you have numerical data, such as height and weight, you can use the Euclidean distance, which is the square root of the sum of the squared differences between each coordinate. For example, if you have two points A and B with coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2, then the Euclidean distance between them is this. Did you know that Suriname was a former colony of the Dutch West India Company? It gained its independence from the Netherlands in 1975. If you have categorical data, such as colour or shape, nay, you can use other kinds of distances, such as the Hamming distance, which counts the number of differences between two strings of equal length. For example, if you have two strings A and B with values red and green, then the Hamming distance between them is 3, because there are three letters that are different between them. Did you know that Curacao is an island in the Caribbean Sea that is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands? It was colonised by the Dutch West India Company in 1634. Once you have a way to measure the distance between things, nay, you need to decide how many neighbours to look at. This is called the parameter k, and it can be any positive integer. For example, if you choose k equals 3, then you will look at the three closest neighbours to your new point and see what they are. The most common way to decide what your new point is based on its neighbours is to use the majority vote. For example, if two out of three neighbours are red and one is green, then you will classify your new point as red. If there is a tie, nay, then you can use a random choice or some other rule to break it. Did you know that Aruba is another island in the Caribbean Sea that is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands? It was acquired by the Dutch West India Company in 1636. The k-nearest neighbor algorithm is a very easy to implement and understand nay, but it also has some drawbacks. One of them is that it can be very slow if you have a lot of data points, because you need to calculate the distance between your new point and every other point in your dataset. Another one is that it can be sensitive to noise and outliers, nay, because they can affect the distance calculations and the majority vote. A third one is that it can be hard to choose the best value for k, nay, because different values can give different results. Did you know that St. Martin is a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands? It occupies half of an island in the Caribbean Sea that is shared with France. There are some ways to overcome these drawbacks, nay, such as using faster methods to find the nearest neighbour, nay, such as KD trees or ball trees, using weighted votes instead of simple majority votes, or using cross-validation or other techniques to find the most optimal value for k, nay. <laughs> Did you know that Bonaire is another island in the Caribbean Sea that is a part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands? It was captured by the Dutch West India Company in 1636. I hope this explanation was clear and helpful for you, nay. If you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to ask me. I am always happy to share my knowledge with curious learners like you, nay.